Yo, what's up guys? Uh, yo, I'm Jesus here. And yeah, so it's something new. So yeah, I'm making a tutorial for you guys because a lot of people just asked me to make one. Um, like how I'm syncing my like clips and like how I'm making my CC and stuff. I don't know. So I'm using Adobe After Effects for everybody who's asking. Like, I mean, obviously you can see it now, but yeah, just for everybody who's asking. And I'm using like Adobe Media Encoder for like rendering the whole thing. Um, yeah, so let's go. Let's open a new composition. Let's name it tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna make it like 9020 to 1080. I mean, you can make like whatever you want, like whatever you prefer to be honest. Let's make like 30 seconds and 30 FPS. It's pretty important. Like 30 FPS is like the most important things like for, for edits. And if you like working on a cinematic edit, like something with like smooth and with, well, like you should see the cinematic, like how beautiful it is, and blah 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 blah. Then you should like put it on 60 FPS, and blah blah blah. But yeah, we're gonna put it on 30. So yeah, let's go. So I'm gonna drag this song into the composition. So we got it here. Yeah? Let's make it to the quarter. So you render it faster. Like I'm not making the whole, I'm not making a whole edit now. I'm just showing you like how I'm doing my stuff. So it's gonna start here obviously yeah. yeah right here so you can make it like with your I don't know with your eyes <laughs> or you can just like make a marker on it like with this one I don't know what's the hotkey for these things so just drag it out and put it on your like where the beat is starting so let's say the beat is starting here I guess it is yeah I guess so yeah so I'm gonna use these so let's drag it in now we got it right here smooth goddamn cinematic so the first thing I'm gonna do is since it's it's not like you know it's not like starting at the beginning right off so I'm gonna like go a little bit forward like this and now I'm gonna cut it with the um, hotkey like I guess it's, yeah it's just, it's control shift D I'm gonna like delete it then you're gonna put it on the right here and let's see what's with the with the beat is coming oh. right here and I'm gonna delete it again uh, control shift D delete okay we got right here and I'm using um, Twixer to like sync my edits and uh, they're like important settings for it so I'm gonna put the input frame rate on 60 or whatever your clip is like if your clip is like recorded in I don't know 600 FPS you, you should obviously put it on 600 uh, you can see it on um, give me a moment uh, let's go back real quick you can see it right here right here the frame rate and it says 60 so you're gonna put it like on 60 so you put it on 60 then the motion sensitivity you put it on like 100 then you go to uh, image prep and put it on contrast and input fields you put on lower field first so you go to your point where the beat is going or, the, or starting whatever and you're gonna like go at the beginning of it obviously like you turn the, the the sound off like of your clips if they if they got some sound in included so i'm gonna put them like I'm gonna turn them off so i'm going to uh, the effects twig store output control and there we have the speed one that's the that's the one we we need and I'm gonna like zoom in it's you can zoom uh, like in and out with like control alt and like just scrolling in if you don't know so you go to the beginning of it and you're gonna like go one frame like backwards put a frame on it just like on the, on the timer whatever is this the clock then you go like one frame like next frame then you put it on like let's say 400 it it like it it always depends on your like music you're choosing like you can put it on 400 or 200 it just depends on which which song you're using so I'm just going for like 400 now then I'm going like one two three four five frames forwards and I'm gonna put another frame on it and like drop it on like 80 and now I'm going to the end of the clip 
and put it on like 400 again and then just like one more frame forward and put it on like 100 now we got the whole like speed up thing now we just we, we all like um, uh, mark them and put it like on easy ease just F9 or just right click uh, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease so we got this one and now let's see how it looks so far so now it's still to the beat you see it's just a little bit fast i'm gonna put this one a little bit forwards because it's like it's going fast and then like like fast again but like you know in, in a like quicker way but it's not like really you know smooth so and it's not smooth because we didn't like you know make the clip faster so we're gonna click on the clip then like control alt and t to open the time remap and then we're gonna like just drag it in so the whole clip is getting like faster it also depends on your clip and the song you're choosing how how far like in you go just like like this so let's see it again so you see and now we're gonna put like so we're gonna put something in so you see it's not that not that smooth you see some like a second like here some frames are like i don't know like blurish so we're gonna go on it put the motion blur on this one and like on the clip as well and now it looks let's see it again you see so we got the first clip and now we go for the second one it's like actually the same but um, obviously you have to like put it on the on the um, like how fast your beat is going so I'm gonna make it like in a fast way real quick cutting it control D uh, control shift D as always let's see how the how, how, how where the beat is like dropping again yeah. yeah so we got it here I'm gonna put like tweaks to on it again or you can just like to make it easier just go to the, to the other clip like copy paste these like uh, keyframes you got there on the next clip but like go to the beginning of the second clip and go like one frame backwards and now paste it in so the, the it should start like on, on the second frame not the, not the first one that's just to to make it like you know smooth so make it like this and now just like drag it like to the to the ending or where the beat is gone twix so we're gonna to the end like this let's see it real quick okay this okay now again control alt t to open the time remap and like make it a little bit faster the whole clip to make it like smooth let's shift so let's see it again from the beginning you see So, and now like the, the transition is not like really smooth, so I'm gonna go to the second clip, uh, like drag the end or the beginning of the clip, like one, two, three, four frames to the, to the first one. And I'm going on it, same thing, transform, and now we need the, the, the opacity, so we're gonna make an opacity frame on it, on, on the beginning of it, and make it to zero, and now we go to the... Uh, to the second frame of the of the Twixter plugin and make it like to 100 so where the clip is starting actually so you see there's like the smooth like smooth transition now we're gonna mark them and easy e again so f9 or you know this one um yeah let's see it again so it looks actually pretty decent 
obviously not not as good like as I'm doing my other edits, but you know, it's just a tutorial, and I'm trying my best to make it like as good as possible for you guys. So, yeah, um, and I'm gonna put all the all the plugins and stuff I'm using in this tutorial in the description, and maybe I'm gonna edit it like in, so what you need and stuff. So let's see it again. And that's like I'm not like making the whole edit because you know it's taking a while. Just make the same like step for every single clip you're using and like make it obviously like as fast and like you know so if you want to make it like you know s smoother or whatever I don't know you can use the like RSMB plugin it's also a plugin you just open a new like you go to layers new and adjustment layer put on but make it at the end of the edit obviously because the render timing like the pre-render timing is too long if you like make it on the f like on your whole edit so you go to effects, RSMB, I prefer RSMB Pro, put it on, you see it already. Now I'm gonna put this on 40 and this on 0.40 as well. Now let's see the whole thing. See, it's like hella smooth right now. I mean you can like obviously like correct them. The way you want it, like the way you prefer it and stuff. Yeah. And now we go to the like color correction part because a lot of people ask me as well how I'm doing my color correction and I don't know. Um. So yeah, let's do the color correction. Now we're gonna delete. No, just like make it like gone. Now we're gonna open a new or make a new adjustment layer. To layer new adjustment layer and now we're gonna put the like now we make the cinema uh, the, the CC so put it on full so you can actually see the what you're changing on the CC and stuff blah 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 and you need some plugins for like the color correction I'm doing so but I'm putting it on the description and on the video itself so you go on effects then red giant color suit and you need all four so colorista 2 then Cosmo, then you need um, Magic Bullet Looks, that's the important, like the, the most important thing you need. Magic Bullet Looks and Mojo. So let's close all of these things. So let's open Magic Bullet Looks first. <coughs> so there we go. So you just like go to the end, like the edge of the screen. And so the first thing you're gonna put on is like the film grain. I love this like effect. It looks so good. Like you got this little film effect, like this one. You see. So let's start with this one. I'm gonna put it on eight percent, and that's it. Then we go to the next effect. That's the that's the like main effect I'm using to make the clip like red or blue or like you know whatever. Put in the two strip process, and I'm gonna put it like on one hundred to make it like more deeper and whatever. Then we go to lens, bitchnet, or bignet, whatever, I don't know how to spell it. Put this on, like a little bit. I don't know, take a little bit out, like this. Then we go to this one and put, what was the last one? Excuse me. Contrast. I guess that's it, I'm not sure. Let's finish it. Now we got it like this. And it's too like you know it's too blue or too bluish. Now we go to Colorista. That's the main like the, the second main thing you need to you know make it like pretty good though or red. So got right here. And now like you go to this point and drag the oh my god drag the red one like what the fuck is going on. Drag it out. The red one. Just just drag the red one out so that it's it's getting like pretty strong. And now you drag the blue one in. So you moved so you remove the blue bluish like color. Not too much. This. Now drag this out as well. And the yellow as well. Same here. Now we got only the red like stuff here. Like this. 
now we go to this next one cosmo it's just to you know like make the skin from from our characters and stuff like smooth just put it on like 40 it's fine both of them then we go to mojo like that's it's it's a, it's a plugin to make it things like you know like realistic like dark and stuff so we're gonna put the mojo thing on pretty dark like the yeah the first one then the tint on like the low one like 18 just like 55 and now the mojo balance so like depends on which edit you're doing like this is one like more old school thing so, but i'm gonna make it like more the dark theme so let's put it at the end like more at the end like let's say 88 then warm it you don't really need it but yeah let's let's let it on like zero now punch it put this on 75 and bleach it a little bit to like 15 now we got the like dark theme you see like it's it looks pretty decent to be honest looks pretty good with just a little bit of color now we go to the put on leaf color leaf color then you put this on red let's see if it's working with this like amount to the color to 100 then you put like you can you, you can choose the color because like uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna show you real quick the tolerance to 45 percent and the edge softness to five percent and then you're gonna put like rgb it's also plug and pack it's the it's this one uh, s time warp rgb put this on as well it makes this like you know this effect right here you're gonna put it on it has to be above the leaf color effect to make it like you know like this reddish and then you put this on zero yeah you put just the, the blue shift frames on zero and you got this cool effect here already you see and now we're gonna put it on off real quick and let it render let's see how it because I'm using too many effects from her, so I'm sorry for that. So. You see, it has this like, you know, this cool effect right here. Damn sick. Okay, so, I guess that's it so far. I mean, the rest is like, you know, just like putting the, I don't know, R's and B and stuff in. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, have a nice day, yo. Peace.